Yeah, it's me again. I just have something on my mind that I want to express. Now, did you know in England, United Kingdom, Britain, whatever you want to call it, there is a law saying before every election, every election, only 90 days are permitted to campaign. Now, do we have this in the law in the United States? No. And we should. Because the next seven or eight months, it's going to be living lethargy. That means it's going to be boring. We're going to have to hear those two names. And you know who I'm talking about. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. I'm going to try my best to ignore it. The news media has now become, become political in, uh, entertainment. Political entertainment. It's like, Who's going to win the Super Bowls? Who's going to go to the NBA championship? This mentality is in America. It's about win and lose. It's about the horse race. And it, like professional wrestling in the 80s, we got a bunch of clowns flopping in the ring. You know that Donald Trump was in the World Wrestling Federation for a short stint. That's where he gets all his tactics. Which reminds me, you Trump supporters are so loyal. loyal. He could do whatever he wants, but there's something, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, Trump supporters who are willing to die for him. Now, let me ask you something. If you're that loyal to Donald Trump, what if he decides to dye his hair green and join the Communist Party and smoke weed and have interracial sex or even have bisexual sex? Would you still support him? Would you? Would you become a lefty? Or would you, what if he embraced yo, uh, woke? So you're not really loyal to him. You're not. You dislike him because uh, a lot of people, a lot of conservatives love evil. They always watch TV shows about criminals, mass ser serial killers, and they get a kick out of it. Because you can't do it yourself, so you live with a psychologist calls vicarious compensation. You watch other people do it, so you don't have to. What do you think masturbation is? You can't get a woman, so you have to gratify yourself. So you're evil masturbation, that's what you are. You love watching evil, but you just don't participate in it. In it. So this next eight or seven months coming up is going to be a stone-cold drag. A stone-cold drag. Can you imagine, unless there's a major catastrophe, like a, a, a volcano engulfs a city, or maybe a, a Florida goes underwater, or somebody gets murdered, or some politician gets caught having immoral sex, and uh, crime will be big. It'll be a big new. That's what you could expect the next. Or Israel decides to drop a nuclear bomb on Poland. I don't know. But far as the American election goes. <laughs> If you ask me, the Democrats want Trump to
to win. I'm talking about the Democratic National Committee, the establishment Democrats. They already made a deal with the Republicans. Okay, we'll give uh, Trump another four years. Because they know Biden is a loser. You could tell he's more senile than Trump. Trump is getting up there, though. But I think he has a combination of senality and mental illness, and it's all combining. And it's very apparent. Uh, Biden tries so hard to hide his senality. Hey, watch him. Watch him climb stairs. Oh, and, and uh, his enablers, the blue magas. He's in fine shape. He's going to pull a Trump. He's going to say, uh, Dr. So oh, he's the healthiest 82-year-old man I ever seen. Politics. Strategy. It's stupid. So I suggest, I'm going to advocate, I'm going to advocate, don't watch any more news unless there's a catastrophe. Just go on, just be self-centered, don't care about anybody but yourself, and uh, be apathetic. I'm advocating apathy, all right? But it's because the news media hasn't got a clue what turns the public on. Uh, on. They don't. They have to have a... Uh, <laughs> they have to have a... Uh, these encounter groups and these, it, it just, they pay millions of dollars how to get to people to watch their crap. Well, here's mine for free. Don't watch. Watch your favorite movie. Just watch sports. Have a fight with your uh, wife or husband. Um, that's it. Just ignore the news media. And there's no more liberal news media because the media is in love with Trump. All right? That's it. That's all I have to say. Bye.